Good morning, Fayetteville High School. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020, and it's time for the morning announcements. Just like when we're in school, please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I have several announcements for you today. The first announcement, students, you are be sure that you're checking your emails and responding to emails from your teachers. All the work you're completing right now will figure into your fourth quarter grade, so be sure that you're staying on top of your work. Several teachers have contacted me regarding students who are not submitting work on time or checking their emails, so be sure that you're doing that every day. Along with that, our teachers have done an awesome job of updating their teacher pages and have posted lots of resources for you there. Reach out to individual teachers if you have questions or if you need guidance or help with an assignment. We are all here to help you. Next, seniors. Several scholarships are nearing the deadline for application. Check back through the emails I've sent you regarding scholarships and be sure that you apply when they're applicable to you. Last week, I sent the application for two of our local scholarships, the Booster Scholarship and the Terry's Grocery Scholarship. Be sure that you're completing and submitting that application. Many students have asked about other local scholarships like the Ron O'Connor Scholarship. We are working on those scholarships and we'll be getting you the forms as soon as possible. You will not miss the opportunity to apply for those scholarships, but you do need to check your email daily for updates. If you need a transcript for a scholarship or to apply for a college, be sure that you are completing the transcript request form. Please note that I do not have access to a printer right now, so you will receive a signed electronic copy of the transcript. I have been in contact with colleges and they're accepting electronic copies of transcripts just be sure that you put in that request form. <clears throat> Students who are interested in taking CCP next year, your intent to participate forms are due on April 1st. If you have not submitted your form, please send me an email with a picture of your intent to participate form signed, and I will be sure to put you on the list for next year. If you know a student who does not have access or is having troubles receiving internet information from, from teachers, please let me know as soon as possible. We're trying to figure out the best modes of communication for all of our students and make sure everyone is able to complete work during this time. If you know of anyone who's having computer or internet problems, please let me know. Our credit recovery system, A+, or PEAK, is up and running. Students should be working on any online classes as well as their normal classes during this time. These classes are required and will be part of your transcript as well. If you have any questions regarding A+, contact me or Mrs. Mullis. We are working hard to ensure that you get the credits you need for graduation and for the years to come. I know that this time is really hard for you. A major disruption to the fourth quarter of your school year is never fun, but we're doing the best that we can in this difficult circumstances. The best things that we can do during this time are to keep up with schoolwork, stay home, try not to visit too many people. By practicing social distancing, you are not only protecting yourself and your family, you're helping everyone and doing your part to help end this virus sooner rather than later. The more diligent we are, the quicker we will be back to our normal lives. We are all doing the best we can. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I miss seeing your faces each day. Have a lovely week. Get outside if you can. Write down some of your feelings in the events of this time. You are living in a monumental time in world history. Document it. Make videos make art, be creative. This is unlike any situation we've ever experienced. Use this time to document this crazy fourth quarter of the 2020 school year. Take care, make good choices, stay home, check and respond to your email, stay safe, and as always, go Rockets.